guys and welcome back. Today I just wanted to sit down and show you guys some of my favorite everyday makeup that I have been using. I really want to show you guys the new products that I have been gravitating towards whenever I'm getting ready for the day, especially on those errand days that I run, uh, which is very frequently. So yeah, I know I did this a couple months ago. I had made a video about all my favorite everyday makeup. I just know that a lot of my makeup changes from my primer to my foundation. There's a lot of stuff I'm trying out, a lot of new stuff that I'm buying now and testing out for y'all. But anyways, let's just jump right in. We're gonna start off with the sunscreen. I haven't put sunscreen on yet, but I already did my face routine and it has been the Bliss Blockstar um, sunscreen. This is amazing. It feels amazing. It just feels so great. It's like even like kind of mattifying. I don't know, but when I put it on, I feel like like good job Anise. that's a little high five in my head that's going on just knowing that i put my sunscreen on for the day it's like very routine for me but it's soft it's smoothing honestly like it feels so good and so far with all the foundations i've tried um it doesn't pill up or it doesn't like ruin your makeup and so i found this foundation through taylor Wynn. she brought it up in one of her videos and um it was amazing. I was like, 20 bucks is kind of expensive, but we'll give it a try. There's plenty more expensive sunscreens out there, and this one has just been my all-time favorite. It's 100% mineral, broad-spectrum SPF 30, and not animal-tested, vegan-friendly, and it is a clean product. So now we're going to go with the primer, and you can tell how much I love this primer so freaking much. It is the uh, Milk Hydro Grip. Can you tell the level? Can you see the level? Of the primer yeah i've been using it a lot i'm actually shocked i'm not empty but i've been trying different primers out also but this is just a go-to primer it definitely grips to the makeup and it's definitely like a tacky primer and i will say at the beginning like yeah there's a little bit of a tingling sensation that goes on but that goes away real quickly yes it is definitely on the pricier side i know and i'm all for budget friendly makeup products but this one just works, you know? And so, yeah, I bought a mini. So if y'all want to try it out, start off with the mini. I'm always talking about minis. And I just love it. So once this is empty, I think I'm going to splurge a little bit and go full size. So, yeah, definitely the Milk Makeup uh, Hydro Grip Primer. This is amazing. Definitely one of my favorite primers of all all the time okay so for foundation the one that i've been gravitating towards just for like an everyday simple look is the lys uh triple fix foundation um it is amazing it's so lightweight it feels just like your skin and i love the way it looks and also like just look at that pump it is so freaking cute that pump is adorable i don't know why i'm just like so obsessed with the packaging i think it's so cute so I probably do about two pumps because I do like a more um, medium coverage and this does go on a little bit light to medium. So I do like a little bit more of a medium to full coverage. I really do like this foundation guys. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it because it's so amazing. I know everybody's been talking about this product and even for a Sephora brand, it's $22 and that's actually really on the cheaper side of Sephora. So I think this is definitely considered an affordable foundation and I love it. I love the way it looks on my skin. It looks natural. It just looks healthy. I feel like my face looks healthy with this on and the dewiness, like, I love it. I, I love a, a good dewy face. So we're gonna move on to bronzer and blush. And I've been really going for this Becca Sunsetter palette. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Everybody loves this palette. I obsess over this palette. It is just like a 10 out of 10 palette for me. This is what the palette looks like if you haven't seen it. And I just love it so much. That bronzer, that blush, it just really pops. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the bronzer and it is called Gold Trotter. love that bronzer let me put a little bit on my forehead and then for the blush i go into the um this one right here which is the calypso coral definitely a favorite just go ahead and oh man oh. 
I don't know why. And also this one looks more, okay, let's pull back a little bit. I think I might've put too much on this side. Okay. I know y'all are probably thinking, Anissa, this is your everyday look. Guys, yes, it, yes, it is. This is my everyday. I like putting on makeup actually, and it's really fun. And part of me is like, if I'm gonna put on makeup, I'm gonna put on makeup. And I just love the way this looks. Like I never thought I was gonna be the blush person, but I am, I really am. And this blush is just so beautiful, especially for the summertime, like total beach blush. Love it. Like, I mean, look, like just adding those two products really like defined my face. It structured it. It gave it a lot of definition. Like, and it's so simple at the same time. It's so easy. And okay, I know you're like, wow, it's Becca. It was at TJ Maxx. I bought this at TJ Maxx for $20 and I'm so happy I found it. So happy I found it. One of the best products that I own. So we're going to skip highlighter today because we're looking so dewy and fresh. We're gonna be moving on to brows. And for brows, I have been using the Milani Stay Put Brow. And I'm in the shade three, which is medium brown. This has definitely been a go-to. I know for a while there, I was using the Weekend Brow. That one was my favorite. But then I decided to dip into this and you know, try it again. And now I've just been reaching for it naturally and it just like sits here on my desk. Okay, let's get going. I think this is a quick video. I don't wanna like stay on a product too long, you know? Cause sometimes I like long videos. Like I'm all for vlogs and stuff like that, but Sometimes I just like a real quick video. So always remember that when I make these videos, I am trying so hard to make them within like 10 to 15 minutes. If I have a 30 minute video, it's because there was a lot of chatting going on and I'm trying to figure out where to edit it. Like right now, now that I think about it, this might be a long video. I'm trying to figure out where to edit. You know, I used to hate my brows for the longest time. And then I went to the salon to get my brows waxed. And it was like for my wedding, like years ago. I went to go get my brows waxed for my wedding. And the salon lady, she was actually the owner, and she did she waxed my brows and she was just like, Your brows are beautiful. You have this arch, blah blah blah. And I was kinda like, What? Like is that pretty? Is that what's in arches? Like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know why. Never used to mess with my brows at all. I used to do like absolutely nothing to my brows. I always hated them. And now I just color them in because I still think my brows are like super thin and I hate it. Sometimes that arch pisses me off. Like I just hate, I just look curious all the time or like concerned, like, you know, hmm. I don't like that. But apparently, and, and still to this day, the lady who does my brows, she's like, you got a really good arch. You got a really good arch. Your arch is really nice. You got good brows. And I'm not like bragging, like I'm truly wondering, is that what's in like arches? I thought like, I don't know. Main point, I hate my brows. I think my brows are ugly. So now we're gonna go in with eyeshadow. And it is going to be the Revolution Nudes Makeup. I just bought this recently and it was like a new product that I tried out love it so much. I lean towards it so much, especially for the everyday look. So I'm pretty shocked because I really thought it was going to be like, eh, okay. But it's one of my favorites. It really is one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to go pretty pink today because I'm wearing like a white shirt and I'm wearing like yellow shorts. And I'm gonna go in with like a really small brush. And I'm gonna go in with my highlight. This is a highlighter that I usually use. It's the Revolution Makeup uh, in the shade Just My Type. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of highlight and just put it on my crease. On my, sorry, on my inner corner.
So for mascara, guys, you guys know my favorite one, my go-to. It is the Milk Kush Mascara. Um, just one of my favorites, really big, fat brush. I mean, I'm not picky with the with the wands, you know? I'm not too picky about it. I definitely love this one. I don't know why, I just feel like it grabs all my... Although I will say, I need to venture out. I need to stop just, you know, milk, 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 milk. Like, no, I need to venture out and explore more mascaras. There has to be a drugstore mascara that is just as great, and I bet you there are. Like, the L'Oreal Lush Paradise is probably one of my favorites. Um, honestly, the ColourPop uh, BFF mascara is another one. And, yeah, so I have plenty of other mascaras. Trust me, I have lots of mascaras. But the milk just does something for me. So, for lips, I have to say every time, time and time again, I will forever love this lip product and no one talks about it. I really hate that nobody talks about this lip. I Even fam some of the famous YouTubers, I know one YouTuber has mentioned it, but she's never mentioned it again. And it is the Physician's Formula Velvet Lip. I love them so much. I just think they're so cute. They apply so easily and they don't smear. Guys, I will tell you that once I apply, if you wait like a few seconds, it dries up and you can just like, it doesn't take off anywhere. I love this so much. Even my husband's like, yeah, those lipsticks are kissing approved because he hates like when lipstick gets on him, like he just hates that. It does not remove, it stays put. I love these lipsticks. But once again, I hate that nobody talks about them enough. Like I really do feel like nobody has mentioned these. And I don't know why. Am I the only one who likes them? Because I will brag about these forever till the day I die. I stand by this. I stand by these liquid lipsticks. I don't care if you're a lips liquid lipstick hater and you only like glosses. I don't care. These are amazing and you can easily put a gloss on top. Calm down, people. I'm gonna swatch these and I'm gonna see which one I wanna go in with today because I'm feeling pretty pinky. So these are the two swatches. This one is Coral Minerals and this one is All Natural Nude. Huh. Hmm. Which one do I wanna wear today? Honestly, I'm feeling kind of like natural nude. Natural nude it is, guys. We're gonna go in with the All Natural Nude. lipstick so much guys you all are you have to go find them and if you cannot if you're if you're like Anissa I have searched and searched for these lipsticks they're on Amazon I promise you they're on Amazon they do not sell these at Walmart I have not seen them at Target they don't I don't see them in stores they have them on Amazon search on Amazon I promise you'll find them because that's where I got these two Amazon and it was recently like within this month so for setting spray, we're gonna go in with the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh, or it's the Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. Yes, I said it right. Guys, this is amazing. I will use this a hundred times. I'll use this every day. Like I literally quit all my e.l.f. coconut mist and I've just gravitated toward this every single day that I've done makeup. Okay. definitely is so cooling and refreshing it is so cooling so refreshing i love the way it is just the way it feels too so awesome <laughs> my lights just went out oh my god why are the lights that's like the second time why are the lights going out? Hmm. Luckily, this video is almost over. <laughs> okay, let's wrap this up, guys. And please excuse my hair. This is shower hair. It is like literally air drying right now, so it doesn't look the best. It is like wet hair. Well, air drying hair, so yeah. Wow. I'm looking all sorts of dewy, guys. Going out and about, and I'm feeling very summery and I love the look. The look is perfect. So I hope you guys like today's video. I hope you guys love the look. And I really enjoy these products. These products are what make me happy, comfy, and just 
alive and bright. I love the way my look is. Like, it just looks so great. So that is all I have for today, guys. I hope you like the look. If you do, like and comment down below. I love hearing you guys um, comment and chat with me. I always try to respond to everything as best as I can. Usually, I'm pretty quick about it. Okay, guys. So that's it for today. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at anisakester93. And don't forget to follow me on TikTok at anisak93. And one more time, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye.